to support Syria. Um, the February 6th earthquake was a catastrophic natural disaster. Its impact is still being assessed. But I've been in Syria and Syria's humanitarian crisis started 12 years ago when these sanctions were imposed. They directly impacted the procurement of fuel, of medicine, of medical equipment, the spare parts needed for medical equipment such as dialysis machines, building materials, food prices have skyrocketed. Even the UN has come out and said that 12 million Syrians don't know where they're getting their next meal from. Now, meanwhile, Western governments have continued to claim that the sanctions do not impact the people, uh, that there are exemptions in place to allow for humanitarian activities to take place. But then just last week, they issued a temporary suspension to these sanctions in order for humanitarian aid to be delivered to earthquake victims. And so this is an acknowledgement that the exemptions weren't there in the first place. Economic sanctions on Syria meant that the machinery and the equipment that was needed in the hours following the collapse of the buildings weren't there. And the Syrians' capability or ability to respond to this earthquake was massively impeded because of these sanctions. And so I wonder how that sits on the conscience of Mr. Albanese and his counterparts. What Australians need to know is that the Syrians aren't asking for the aid. They are asking them to recognize the hostilities that their government is committing overseas. To be responsible for the suffering that their sadistic policies are causing to millions of people. The Syrian people have suffered enough. Do not be implicit in their continued suffering. Stop the sanctions let the Syrians recover and rebuild their country.